Hey main stagers, I'm the main stage guru. Today we're going to talk about exporting and importing patches between concerts. Stand by, here it comes. <laughs> Moving patches from one main stage concert to another is not as straightforward as it may seem. As a Mac user, the tried and true cut and paste is typically the first thing that comes to mind. And I'll admit it was the first thing I tried early on in my main stage experience. But this has proven to be a flawed option, as cutting and pasting between concerts will sometimes cause the concert to become corrupt and, occasionally, completely unusable. Fortunately, there is a safe, tried and true way to move patches between concerts, and that's by using the export and import options inside MainStage. Let's get started. Okay, so I've called up my Sounds of Rush sound set that you can find at jimquesta.com, and I'm going to export the Tom Sawyer patch onto a USB stick so I can move it over to my gig computer. And it's fairly straightforward uh, to do this. You go up here in the patch list section and you click the little gear icon, of which you can, you know, you have a new patch, new set, etc. Go down here to save patch, and literally you do that and it opens up a window. You can select your destination, you hit export, and boom, it's already there. So I'm going to unplug that USB drive. I'm going to go over to my gig computer and we'll see how to import it. Okay, here I am over on my gig computer, and as you can see, my concert is a fairly complex uh, concert here, and everybody that does this is going to have their own layout. They're going to have maybe one or more keyboards, maybe want to use one or two MIDI channels, have different things that they have on their screen so, uh, so that they can interface with the program. So everybody's going to be a little bit different. Uh, but the process of doing this is all going to be the same. So I'm going to go over here to the gear icon just like I did when I exported that before and I'm going to put in load patch set and when I click that it pops open uh, to my USB drive I'm going to select Tom Sawyer I'm going to go ahead and import it into my system okay main stage just decided that it was going to put it uh, on this piece right here which is actually my EX5 channel 2 I would like that instead to go down to my Korg Kronos SE channel 1. And the way to do that now is I'm going to have to go in here and I'm going to select these. Go over to MIDI input and I'm going to select my Kronos channel 1. And you can see the layers that are moving down uh, to where they uh, where I expect them to be. Now it may in your situation not go to the it may, it may go to the right keyboard and you'll be all set. So let's see what I've got here. I should have the Taurus pedals not a Taurus pedal actually. I've got it labeled as such, but it's really a OBXA uh, that they used on it, and I've recreated that using the ES2 uh, synth. And then we've got the solo section here. And strings up here. Alright, so that's all cool and everything, but since I have the extra real estate, I think I would like to go ahead and use my EX5 for the solo. So I'm going to go ahead and move the EX5 or the uh, solo section up to EX5 channel 1, which is going to be up top here. So now so I've got that up there and now I have everything exactly where I want it. Okay, all that's well and good, but now what happens if you want to save multiple programs? Well, there's a couple different ways that you can do that. Actually, main stage is pretty intuitive in this. If you want to move multiple programs, it will let you. So if I hold down the control key and start clicking, I can actually select groups of patches like this. When I go up here, it'll actually say save as set. And when I do that, I'll click that, and boom, I'm just going to save it as Rush Set. I'll export it. I've already named it once. I'll do that. And it saves all of these things so that you can import them.
So let's say for some reason I wanted to import that into my Genesis set. I would go up here and I would load patch set and I would find that. There's the rush set. Okay, I hit that import. And lo and behold, boom, all those things magically appear together. And I can start using them in this set just that easy. So there you have it. It's pretty easy to move patches in and out of Mainstage using the import and export functions. You can build concerts that way and in the process you can make sure that you don't corrupt concerts that you're already working on. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you can see when I post a new video. All the sound examples and patches that you saw today are available on my website at jimquesta.com. You can purchase full sound sets or you can actually purchase them individually as well. Hope to see you next time on Main Stage Guru. Take care, everyone.